It's time to say hello to an old friend today. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my overview of the L86A2 LMG for Battlefield 4. The last time we saw this weapon was way back in Battlefield 3 and I can't understand for the life of me why this weapon wasn't in Battlefield 4 to begin with. I think it's a great weapon and it fits really well into the balance of the game along with weapons like the RPK for example. You could probably describe this weapon as more of an infantry assault rifle rather than a light machine gun because that's basically what it is and the statistics that we'll go through in a minute back that up really well. But for me, this is probably one of the weapons that I was most looking forward to out of the weapon crate, apart from the AN-94 anyway, but it's just such a weapon that I spent so much time with in Battlefield 3, and it's British made as well, which suits me down to the ground. So let's have a look at some of those statistics then. Just for starters, the L86 will only be available to the support cast within Battlefield 4, as that's the only class that has access to LMGs, even though this thing <laughs> kind of isn't really. But we're looking at a max damage of 24 inside 8 meters, which then extends down to 18 damage at 65 meters. So this mimics a lot of the other LMGs that kind of fit this category, but like I said, very similar to an assault rifle, apart from obviously the range of which the weapon can operate at its most optimal level. The drop off starts a little bit earlier at 8 meters as opposed to 12 with an assault rifle. Magazine size is 31 or 30 rounds and one in the chamber. Again, very similar to an assault rifle here. What I would have liked to have seen actually, and this could still change to be fair, I'd like to see the weapon go up to a 40 round magazine just because it could differentiate it that little bit more. And obviously the drop off starting a little bit earlier makes it a little bit weaker in those close quarters situations. If you've got a few more bullets, hopefully you could just spray and, and pray that you kill someone instead. And like I said, it would just differentiate it and make it slightly more different from an assault rifle. Now, because the L85 is a bulb up weapon, it does have some rather good stats when it comes to recoil. You're looking at an upwards recoil of 0.29 and a side to side recoil of only 0.185. So this thing is really accurate at close, medium and long range. And you won't notice a huge amount of recoil with this thing. That's the benefit that you get with a bulb up weapon. What you do trade off though is reload time. A short reload is 2.5 seconds and a long reload is 3.9 seconds. So it takes a hell of a long time to get bullets back into this thing if you don't have any left in the weapon at all. And that can really let you down in those close quarters situations. But me personally, you'll see a lot of what's going on in the background right now. I wasn't really going for those short range kills. I was trying to stay away from the enemy as much as I could. Maybe try and hold my ground a little bit and make sure that I was taking advantage of the fact that the weapon doesn't have a lot of recoil. So shooting people at long range is fairly easy. Plus, if I did run out of bullets, I'm far enough away from somebody that I haven't got to worry about them running around the corner and shooting me in the head with their own weapon instead. Rate of fire on the L86 stands at 700 rounds a minute and that's really comfortable to use and if you put that in line with the recoil makes it really really good for getting as many bullets as you can down range to those longer range targets. It can really help and I felt like I did actually stand a chance against some of the higher rate of fire assault rifles simply because my recoil was that much better than what theirs could be. I just want to make a really quick point actually. I'm using a suppressor on this weapon right now and that's kind of that I'm getting the feeling from all of these weapons in the weapon crate that it would be much more beneficial if they did have suppressors on them. Like I said with the LMG here, the L86, it's recoil time isn't great. So if you've got a suppressor you're staying off the minimap and that helps you when reloading. People don't really know where you are. It's kind of been a theme all the way through. Even with the mare's leg, I found that it was quite good to have a suppressor on there. And it's like you've got a sneaky secondary that you can just whip out and use on the enemy from time to time. I don't know, maybe it's just me and I really like the suppressor at the moment, but I found most of the weapons in this, this crate that we're going to be getting are much better to use with a suppressor. And one other thing as well, all the footage that you're watching right here is recorded on Golf of Oman and it will now probably switch to Operation Mortar in about 10 or 15 seconds. And this was all in the space of about 
sort of 20 minutes that I recorded this bit of footage. When I first started, it took me maybe 20 minutes to get used to the weapon and learn, it, learn its in and outs. And after that, that was basically it. That's how easy the L86 is to actually use. If you're going to choose it when the Weapon Crate DLC comes out, which will be available to everyone, by the way, not just premium members, even if you're not a premium member, you will get access to these weapons, which is really cool. Everyone gets to play with them. I'd highly recommend going and trying this thing out because at long range with virtually no recoil, it's really, really easy to use. Like I said, the only change I'd really make, just to differentiate it from the assault rifles, is maybe extend that magazine size, maybe up to 35 or 40 bullets, just to give it a little bit of advantage at longer ranges. You've got a few more bullets to, to stick in somebody's face. But there we go, the L86A2 LMG infantry assault rifle will be coming to Battlefield 4 very soon. We still don't have a date for this weapon crate DLC drop yet, which is kind of a shame, but hopefully we'll get that soon because I do want everyone else to try these things out. I'm fortunate enough to be in the CT and get a chance to play with these all the time. I know for console users you don't quite get that, but hey, hopefully you'll be getting a chance to play with those soon. But thank you very much for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could leave me a rating, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to check out g2a.com slash r slash westy for all the latest deals on the greatest games. The link's in the description. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.